which makes sense. Ran into a problem this morning, Paul Thorat. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it's uh, three feet of snow related. You're not off. <laughs> <laughs> There was I don't I don't even think there was snow in the forecast. Maybe there was a little, maybe a little. Okay, but the problem was the timing. So, right. not it snowed a little bit overnight, but like yeah, when I, it's like a dusting, maybe 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 half inch if we're generous. Okay. And then at about six forty five, it just starts blur like dumping, and like it comes fast. And it was it was I think past the point where they could potentially delay school because like things were already in motion, and so. Yeah. I, Took my kid that's to actually, school. That's scary, it, actually. Yeah. Took my kid to school. The roads were just a dumpster fire around school. Like it took me it took me probably almost an hour round trip. And it's usually like 20, 30 minutes, including like waiting the ten minutes to get the kid out of the car. So that was you know, fun. That was fun. Um, when I was a kid, well, when I was in high school, I should say, there was this terrible snowstorm one well, it was probably one every year. It was Boston, but whatever. Um I just remember this one in particular. It was incredible. And um we kept waiting for school to be canceled, and it never it was never canceled. So we got begrudgingly got ready for school, begrudgingly walked to school in the incredible blizzard that was happening, all huddled together, you know, like wild animals. <laughs> got into the school. We're sitting in class looking out. It's just snow. Like, we're never going to get home. What's going on? And then sometime in late in the morning, you know, those big metal doors they have at schools, like mm-hmm. the back doors, blew off the back of the building. Oh, God. And then the guy, the principal, whoever got on the intercom, and he goes, yep, school's canceled, guys. You can all go home. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> we're walking home, and it's like, there were, like, trees down. They've taken down. There's an electrical wire live in the street, like, you know, vibrating around. And it was like, the, you know, this is one of the reasons why we're overly protective today. <laughs> you know what I mean? A tree had, actually, that was the storm. A tree had fallen through a house up on... Uh, I must remember the name of the road. Mount Vernon <laughs> Road. If anyone's from Denham, well, you know, there's a house there. Aunt Mount Vernon and Sanderson. A house. A tree went right through a house, and we're that's the way we walked to and from school. We're walking by. We're like, yeah, no, obviously we went to school today. You know, makes. That's not the Mount sense. Vernon, is it? Like the. No, no, no. This is just uh, you yeah. know, like in uh, every street has like a main street. You yeah, know, yeah. every street has like president name. You know, Jefferson. You yep, know, yep, yep. Uh, whatever streets. Uh, no, Denham. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. How you know? <laughs> Good morning, Mexico. Um, uh, Denim is just a East Coast historical. Jeez, Louise. Teams is not liking this. Nope. Got a little, little dialogue there. That might be on my side. <laughs> I, I had one of mine, too. I could close mine, not that one. Well, we'll just uh, deal with that little guy. There he's gone. He's gone. Um, yeah, anyway, we just those are just the types of road names we have there. Um, anywho, yeah, so we're flying home on Monday, mm-hmm. and there is a potentially historically significant storm happening starting i think right now maybe or tomorrow or something uh boston could get up to three feet of snow and <laughs> oh there is a little bit of schadenfreude there i gotta tell you that's part of the reason we moved mm-hmm. um so we'll see what happens but hopefully it doesn't impact my uh, flight home because i don't really care about the millions and millions of people that will be suffering through this for weeks so what i care about is that my plane lands <laughs> i can go home that's paul at thorat.com <laughs> Anyway, so no. Apple dropped <clears throat> yes. their earnings yesterday, and hundred and right. we'll round up one hundred twenty-four billion billion dollars, <laughs> like yeah. just big numbers, phenomenal numbers. Uh, iPhone revenue was seventy-one billion dollars. Mac billion. was ten billion. iPad was seven billion. Wearable and accessories were fourteen billion, and services were about twenty billion. I have like a million points to make about this, but the, the the two big obvious ones are we always look at the percentage of iPhone revenues compared to total. Mm-hmm. Sixty, well, fifty eight. It's fifty eight percent, not quite sixty percent. So that's been going down. Um, services number two at Apple yeah. now, right? Now, what's interesting about this? I saw a statistic that I added uh, to this the article I wrote later because it was part of their post earnings conference call. Um, services were up 24%, but the interesting t- statistic Apple said, you got to really parse this one because this is kind of interesting. Apple says they have 785 million paying subscribers globally. 
across all services, up 27%. But, this is a little asterisk there, that figure includes both Apple and third-party services, the latter of which are mostly subscriptions sold through the App Store. Mm. So let's parse that. Yeah, You as an individual, Brad, Mm-hmm. might be paying Apple for iCloud. You might be paying them for some, what's that, Apple One thing that has bundles yeah, things yeah, yeah. together, whatever, uh, Apple TV Plus, you know, whatever it is. But you also might be, maybe, for some reason, you went through your iPhone and subscribed to, actually Spotify is a bad example, but let's say it's Spotify or whatever things you might subscribe to. So it's, it includes both of those. That's It's a huge number of people. It's like almost a billion, but mm-hmm. it's you, I, it, the scenario I just described, could have three or four, you could be three or four of those subscribers yeah, right so right. yep yeah that's I just i just want to put that in perspective but uh i had said something to you offline about most uh profitable segment actually the services was described as apple's most profitable segment i mm. think when i talked to you i was saying it was a microsoft thing sorry about that um so i don't know where they got that from that might have come up during the call but um yeah when it comes to apple you know as you and i were just discussing is unique on this planet in that they, to date, have made, you know, they're a hardware company. They have incredibly hard margins for hardware, right? Yep. Um, the margins in the PC market are somewhere in the low single digits. They're almost non-existent for some companies. It's why so many of them are gone, right? They've consolidated. Um, Apple's margins have, I, I haven't seen a number in a while, and this is off the top of my head, but have been in the 40s, right? So a company that makes hardware is so efficient that they can make margins of, we'll call it 42 43%, I think, rivals the margins of a software mm-hmm. or services company, I think. Yeah. It's an opinion. <laughs> you know, I don't really have a numbers in front of me. We don't really get those numbers, but uh, that's what make app, makes Apple unique. So when Samsung or, uh, you know, Microsoft back in the day with Zoom or whatever, whatever company looks at Apple and says, okay, look, how, look they're going gangbusters. Let's do that. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you can't you can't compete on the same level. There's just, I think that's the, the legacy of Tim Cook, frankly. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of interesting. Uh, they're an interesting company. They're Oh, the other thing is, I just didn't, since I brought up Microsoft, you know that Apple and Microsoft right now, by market cap, are the two biggest companies in the world. The number yep, one. This is where I was two. headed to. <laughs> yeah. So Apple, let's see, 124 billion in revenues. Now, uh, we know net income for both companies, Microsoft and Apple as well. Mm-hmm. It's very, I mean, I think profit matters too. But what we don't know, Microsoft or Apple or most other companies, is the net income of individual business units, right? right. We don't know how profitable the iPhone is. But we could we could kind of guess, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, if it is if it is 40%, and it might even be higher, they got to be getting really good at making iPhones. Uh, whatever the number is, it's an incredibly profitable business, of course, <laughs> right? Um, now, on the Microsoft side, we don't know, you know, like is Xbox profitable? I mean, absolutely not, right? Not right now. Of course not. They can't be. They're they're one year into a new console generation. They're revving up all these cloud services. There's no way that business is profitable, but we don't know that, right? Um, so, <laughs> just compare these two companies. Number one company in the world just made 124 billion in revenues. The number two company? Did they make 120, 119? No, they <laughs> they made like what was the number? 50, 51, I think. 51.7 billion. Yeah. Fifty-one point seven. That's that's like less than half. I mean, it's it's like yeah. Apple is two and a half times the size of Microsoft by revenue in one quarter. Yes, yeah, so a holiday quarter, consumer company versus a you know commercial. Company. I get that, but geez, like they're not close. No, I mean you know, iPhone the, is bigger than Microsoft. I the mean, iPhone by itself is bigger than Microsoft. Is, yeah, and by not even, by it's itself, not even close. It's twenty twenty right, billion dollar right. difference. If you yeah, I mean, uh, I don't remember. Do you remember what the profit number was for Microsoft? Um, the net income number, I should say. Uh, 18.8. 18.8. So you could do a percentage basis just on the total company. 18.8 is some percentage of uh, 51.7. It's, it's less. Uh, it's more than a third and less than a half or whatever. Mm-hmm. How are you doing math on that? Somewhere in there, right? Um, and then you look at the Apple thing, and it's like a profit of, like, we call it 35 on 124. So actually less profitable if you will overall yeah. uh kind of a weird way to put it but um you understand like net income is like not really because it's a big complex company it's not you or me but it's like money in the bank <laughs> you mm-hmm. know i mean not um they're so much bigger they mostly make hardware incredibly profitable you know yep 
you th- how diverse is Microsoft? How many different things do they do? You could look at any one part of Microsoft and say, how diverse is that business? It, whether it's you know intelligent cloud or the the Microsoft 365 stuff or the, just more even more personal computing, um, iPhone. <laughs> they, they make this thing. Yeah, one thing know, that's it's incredible. Yeah, it's just incredible. It is. Anyways, it's Friday. Apple is probably celebrating. I don't know. I don't What's know. What the Amazon the... date? You seem to have a handle on this again. I, uh, I, I keep like... forgetting. Uh, Next week, hopefully. One of them's Tuesday. <laughs> one of them's Thursday. Good. I think. Good, good, good. Amazon yeah, earning. I need some. I, I need think. some. Well, we'll find out here. Some downtime. So in. Amazon is Thursday. Okay. And Google is Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. Now Amazon. I don't know where they factor into the list of world's largest companies, but they got to be. They're up in the top five or they're ten. They're up in right the top now. by revenue for sure, but their margins are way. I mean, they're within right. Let me, then, let me put it this way: yep. their margins are AWS. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's true. Anyway, that's, their retail is probably operated almost. It, it appears to be operated at a loss almost. That's right, and it has for forever. I mean, it, it always has, right? And in mm-hmm. fact, until recent years, very recent years, this is a company that made negligible profit or net income or whatever. Um, in recently, it's actually started turning like a little bit of a profit. And I, you're right; it's AWS. And there you go. Mm-hmm. It's a once you've made the investment in something like that, obviously you have to keep updating it, but. Uh, services becomes a very high high margin uh, business for them. Shipping stuff around the world, destroying all this all the roads in Pennsylvania, is costing Amazon a lot of money. <laughs> you know, it's just we got to get our stuff. You know, to, mm-hmm. we click the button, we go walk to the door and expect it to be there. Um, yeah, so two totally different businesses. Definitely interesting. 